Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we have the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi Ji, not the Ray Jane here. We are here at the third day of the India Mobile Congress 2022 and right behind me you can see I'm here at the Airtel Pavilion and we got the opportunity to talk to Mr. Randeep Sekhon who is the Chief Technology Officer of Bharti Airtel. Uh, let's see what he had to say. We have seen uh, previous conferences and we have seen global conferences but the kind of energy and footfall what we have seen here and the inquisitiveness and the kind of questions right from school kids to right. senior ministers, I think it has been amazing. And people are wanting to know what 5G can do for them and wanting to know what will impact him. And then we lit up 5G yesterday, a day before yesterday after Prime Minister's announcement. Right. And people who had 5G phone could immediately see 5G on their phone and could see 1 Gbps speeds, I think so it has really created a buzz. Absolutely. Now, you know, when we're talking about 5G, obviously we are seeing enterprise use cases here. But when it comes to consumers, you know, the first thing that matters to them is speed. Now, I want to understand that if you see the complaints that people have across industry, it's not just limited to one or two players. It's that we were not able to get peak 4G speeds. Now, what is being promised at 5G? And given how the 700 megahertz spectrum was in the play this year, what could be the game changer when it comes to this aspect of speed and what the consumers have been apprehensive about? You see, let me demystify a little bit for right. you. The speed comes from the amount of spectrum you have. Right. Right. So the spectrum all operators had was 50 to 60 megahertz, right. adding up in the four bands we have. Right. So the speed could have come. Right. in empty network right. but we have 600 million users on Absolutely. this uh, usage and they use a lot Absolutely. and hence the speeds in India have been always subdued okay. uh, over what the technology can provide. Okay. Best part about 5G is that all of us have got now 100 megahertz spectrum. At right. least the two big operators have got 100 megahertz spectrum. Right. So the speed is going to come with this which you can experience here. I right. mean people of course this is only few users. I mean 1000 or 5G users by the way in this Absolutely. in this IMC itself. Um, so the speed is not going to come from 700 because it is only 10 megahertz. Okay. 10 megahertz we have already right. Okay. We have actually 15, 20 megahertz in mid bands and we have 40 megahertz in 2300. Speed will come from 3500, 100 megahertz. Okay or will come from millimeter wave where we have got 800 megahertz now right. but millimeter wave is limited from coverage perspective because right. you can't go but right. 3500 will be the main band which will give speeds and those speeds will come because this is really a technology designed for speed. Right. I'll talk a bit more on the monetization aspect. You know I was listening to Mr. Gopal Vittal CEO speaking at a, a JP Morgan Investor Summit wherein he said that enterprise use cases that are being displayed here, they will take some time for monetization. And in the meanwhile, uh, tariff hikes probably will be the sole uh, source of monetization. What are your views on that? Well, I can't talk about uh, tariff hikes, right. but I can say that like we talked about Indian consumer consuming a lot of data. Right. So I as a CTO, my job is to produce that data for the people Absolutely. to consume. Moment I see 5G as a technology, the data which 5G creates is much lower cost per GB and cost per watt because right. it consumes lesser energy Absolutely. and it produces much more GBs because I need to just put one radio instead right. of four which I had to put in uh, 4G because of the bands were smaller, smaller. Right. So the cost per GB is lowest. So I'll be able to produce that GB in a much cheaper way. So I would imagine that monetization first angle will come is that you're producing a high quality, high speed experience at a lower cost. Right. Sir, my last question to you. You know, when the Prime Minister was launching uh, the 5G services, one of the things that he emphasized was that we shouldn't just keep it limited, you know, to say let's video streaming or, you know, a high quality video conferencing. The industry will have to take these use cases that we are seeing here uh, to the common masses and they will add value. 
I want to understand that going forward, as we have Pan India coverage, will enterprise use cases outweigh consumer use cases? You see, I want to pick Prime Minister's word also because it was a very motivating right. speech. He says to Indians, you just show them technology once, then they will mm -hmm. take it up. You know. So my belief is that we have to just show this technology what it can do and show some sample use cases which people can see oh if this can be done it can be done as well like right. we talked about immersive education Absolutely. why just education it can be immersive entertainment it can be immersive interaction there can be many things similarly Absolutely. cloud gaming why not other things so i would imagine we just have to expose indians to what the possibility this technology can bring and then they will take it away i really hope that this time indian produces those inno indians produce those innovations which we can take to the world right. Thank you so much sir for talking to us.